All right. Thank you all for joining. We'll go ahead and get started. We may have a few more folks join us. My name is Tally Thomason. I'm the Director of Communications and Marketing for the Colorado Bar Association. And we're going to walk through an intro to CBA Thrive, the new face of our online community engagement platform. This usually takes about 20 minutes, so we won't keep you too long. If you are a particularly chatty bunch and have lots of questions, we can certainly go longer. So let's get started. Alrighty. So when you come to the community page, the CBA Thrive page, either through the website or directly by going community.cobar.org, this is what you're going to see. This is our non-member page. Um, our login page. So you have just a reminder of the CBA mission, links to the latest issue of Colorado Lawyer, upcoming events, and a link to the CBA CLE website. You can log in from two different places on this page, here or here. So let's go ahead and pick one. That will take you back to the CBA website for our single sign-on. And then you'll need to click to get back to community. This will eventually, in the next couple of weeks, be changing to say CBA Thrive, but we're keeping it community is to make sure people have enough time to transfer how they identify the space in their mind. And when you come in, I'm an admin, so I go directly to that page. But what you'll get when you're logged in is this member homepage. And this is designed to be much more intuitive and easier than the previous page and more designed to feel like a social media platform like LinkedIn. So you'll see the latest activity in the sections that you, in communities that you're involved with. So it may be discussion posts, it may be recently added events or library entries. Occasionally, we might put a poll up here, so keep an eye out for that if you want to chime in on different ideas and initiatives. You have a quick list of your community uh, membership. Uh, you have an event list of your community events, and then a quick list with just common links that people use regularly. The homepage, CBA CLE, licensed lawyer, job boards, sections, staff directory, fast case, and Colorado lawyer. So the first thing that most people ask when they get a chance to ask questions about the platform is how do I change my message settings? And so the first thing we're going to do is teach you how to change your profile, how to change the messages you receive. You do so by clicking on the icon. If you've uploaded a picture, you'll see yourself here or you'll see the little silhouette. And from there, you can go directly to your inbox for community, your community list, posts that you followed. This is where you would log out if you're on a shared computer. And then also profile. That's where we're going to go right now. All right. And so this profile page has been updated also. It's a little easier to read and cleaner. And you'll see if you want to change or remove or add a picture, you can do so by clicking on this action section. Uh, it has my contact information here. I have not added any social media links yet or any of this bio information. However, if I want to do that, it's going to take me to this form on the COBAR website. We use this profile update form to make sure that all of the information is not only getting updated in the CBA Thrive, but in your overall member profile. And you have lots of different areas where you can add in information to appear in that directory. And then I'll come back to our profile page. Your memberships and sections will probably be considerably smaller. As an admin, I have quite a few here. Um, but it will list which sections, committees, and associations um, that you are involved with. The next button is My Connections. If you have contacts that you've added in this space or networks and communities, you can come here and see who your contacts are. And directly from here, you would be able to send them a message, and it will also make some recommendations of who to connect with. So I see Margaret's on this call and she's recommended. So I'm going to go ahead and request her. And then the next space is the contributions. So you can see 
a summary of what you've contributed. Mine is very minimal, three discussion posts, usually announcements for our community, and a list of contributions. So if I want to more specifically see where I have posted items, you'll see them here. Some of these are more recent than others. And then my account is the setting that the area that you're probably most going to want to go to right away. The first element here, let's look at our privacy settings. Privacy settings determines what of your information is available in our online community. You can completely opt out of being included in directories and rosters, or you can modify this on a more granular scale. I will say when folks click on this directory, they do have to be logged in to access it. So they have to be a member of CDA. This is not a directory for the public. That's what our licensed lawyer platform is for. And so you can decide for each of these areas if you want only your contacts to be able to see this specific information. It all automatically defaults to members only or only yourself for some reason if you wanted to keep that private. And you have a long list of details that you can update. Just make sure you click to save the changes. The next section we'll get into is your email preferences. Now this is your overall emails from the CBA Thrive community. We'll get into how to detail and tailor your community notifications for specific communities in just a moment. So first and foremost, you can see that this is your primary CBA email address, but you can change this if you'd like to get your notifications to a different email. I know quite a few people who use a different email for newsletters, for shopping, or any types of associations and such. So you can make that change there. And then you can also choose whether or not you want to get the community emails sent from the admins or your community manager. You can just click no if you do not. Toggle mine back on. And then participation emails are the ones specific for your one-on-one -on -one interaction. So if you are replying to a sender in your inbox or replying to a poster contact request, if somebody at mentions you in a discussion, you'll get all these real-time notifications. Proportional emails is also here. We don't use that very often, but you can toggle those off. And then smart newsletter is a feature we're going to be activating in February. The weekly, or rather the email, the loop, the CBA email that comes out for all members is moving to a once a week format. So we can focus on giving you good quality details weekly. And then we'll be starting to the use of our smart newsletter system. And what this does is send you an email weekly that details any upcoming events specific to the sections and committees and the communities that you're involved with, as well as discussion posts that may be of interest to you. And you could certainly come in and turn that off if you do not want to receive those. Community notifications. Here is where you can get a little more granular in changing how you receive information and what you receive. So you have the daily digest. You have the option of having a weekly digest and on which day you'd like to receive that. You also have the opportunity to override your address for your discussions here. And then in our online communities for the different sections, you can automatically just choose no notifications about these if you do not want to receive anything. Or you can tailor specifically by community. So for agriculture and agricultural and rural law section, I currently have no email selected, but I can choose to get real-time updates. So anytime somebody posts or they add a new library item, I would get an email or I can pick daily digest. And then I can also pick a consolidated weekly and daily digest. So if I want to get um, something that's a little more all-encompassing of the activities across the platform. And then I can change these for all of the communities I'm involved with. You'll most likely be involved in open forum and maybe one, two, three sections. Not, not very many people are involved in more than that, but it does happen. And then you also have your inbox here where you can see all the incoming emails. You can see what you've sent. You can see contact requests that have come in to you. 
and any invitations to any communities that you've requested. And then you will not have this admin button. And that is it for what you can update in your profile area. There's also the opportunity to update your discussion signature. You can do this inside the, the post, but you can also do it here. And I will show you when you use the default template, it pulls in all of these data from your profile. You can choose to remove it and type whatever you want in. You can add other elements. And that way, every time you update your profile, all of this will automatically update. Or you can just take it all out. Hit save. Any questions on the profile section before I move on to the other sections? All right. Yes, Elsa? I just wanted to make sure you only get a list of the sections you're involved in or you get a list of all the sections and then you click on each of them that you want to get the weekly or or daily reports you should only get the list of the communities that you are involved with and that you are part of. if there are, are some that you're interested in but are not necessarily involved and would like to get the you know, like the Consolidated Weekly Digest. Mm -hmm. How do you add those to the notification settings? That is a great question. I do not have that answer, but I'm going to make a note um, and I will respond to everybody on this on this session with that update. Okay. I'll send out an email probably by the end of this week. I'll get that answer for you. Thank you. All right. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right, we're gonna go through and look at our four members section. Now this has your, your basic quick links to the CBA homepage, CBA CLE, and the job board. But we have a new page and that's your member benefits page. Again, this is only visible if you've logged in because this takes you directly to your member benefits and perks and you'll be able to use all of those. So the bar benefits included with your membership, Affinity Law Practice Management, formerly MGMTHQ, uh, Affinity Consultant brings this service to us, and they have all kinds of webinars, white papers, and also email consultations available for you in any of their law practice management topics. Then, of course, we have our Colorado lawyer, licensed lawyer, fast case. And then the CBA CLE membership, there you get discounted and some free courses for your continuing education. And then we have these great benefit, benefit partner perks that are discounted with your membership. Melissa, who is on this call, works really hard to bring all of these great benefits to us. And so this is the page that you can go to to access and utilize all of them. You can also currently get these from the website as well. But this page, I think, is a little easier to navigate. And so we have three categories, business services, financial services and insurance, and personal services. You can either scroll or you can click here and get directly to the section that you want to be in. But I can scroll back up as well. And so for these, you just click on the link in the title and that will take you to the member benefit details and how to access that. In some occasions though, please make sure to read this because like Colorado Symphony, we have a specific promo code where you can save 20% off of most concerts. So just look for those codes and such and then utilize those links. And then of course we have the communities. Here you'll see a list of all of the communities that we have available. And then you can also click just on my communities to get specifically to the sections and communities that you are a member of. In this space, when we click on one of them, you'll see a new and different layout that's a little easier to navigate. We have the latest discussion topics. You have your section contact information for all of your leadership within each of those sections, as well as your staff liaison and latest library entries. You can go to the discussion tab and see a little more about the discussions, who has posted them, if they have replies. And this little star indicates that I've elected to follow this thread. So let's go in here. And I do that by just clicking here to follow. And then if I want to reply, I can reply in a discussion post. 
When I click on the ellipses, it gives me a few more opportunities for tailoring and modifying my message, customizing. You can insert pictures, video, you can put links in here, at mentions, hashtags. You can change your font sizes, use different headers, quotes, and such. And so you type in your message. You can upload an attachment. And then signature. Here, you can tailor. Since I wiped out my default signature earlier, we don't have anything that automatically populates, but I can just put something in here for this post only, or I do have the opportunity to edit my default signature on the fly here as well. When I'm satisfied with my message, I can hit post or I can schedule it to go at a later date. If I'm not satisfied or maybe want to check a fact or get a citation to include, I can save this as a draft and not lose all my work and then come back to it later. You said that there was an attachment, uh, but I can't see the, the, the sign for attachment. Where's that? It's upload file. Oh, it's right okay. Down thank here. you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's not the paper clip that we're used to. It's in right. a, in a different place for sure. And you can also drag this to resize to make this a little easier. If you know you have a longer message to write, you have that option as well. Thank you. Sorry for the interruption. Oh no, no problem. I'm glad you are asking the questions and getting the answers that we need. Yeah. Um, Excuse me, I have a question also. Yeah. So we're not going to be able to just reply from the emails we get like we do now we have to go in here to oh no you, you'll still be able to do that as well and is this yeah, where we start a new post is this where we have to go no to start a new post you you can do it a couple of different ways so if you want to post one in a specific community you hit post new message it'll automatically populate which community that you're in you can also cross post a lot of people like to cross post to the open forum just to get more coverage for what they're asking about or talking about. And then you do your subject. You have your same editor here. Here we have add attachment instead of upload file. Sorry for that inconsistency. Now you do not have to be within a community to start a post. You can do that also right up here at this create button and create discussion thread. Real quick, want to let everybody know that we have a help section and a community user guide that walks you through all of these steps that I'm going through today. So you don't have to memorize it all today. This is right here under help, community user guide, and you do not have to be logged in to access that. Okay. All right. So the create button up here at the top next to your picture. And then you have a drop down and discussion thread. And I click on that and it loads this page to start a new thread. This is just like the starting a new thread if you're already in a community. The only difference is that it doesn't pre populate your primary community for the message. So you have to choose one. Okay, I'm going to come back into the community and just show you a little bit more. Also underneath the section, you have tabs for library. And this is where you're going to see any documents that have been uploaded or put in the library for this space. That may be anything from governance bylaws to meeting minutes. If you click on the folder to the left, you'll see that there is some organization here. So you can look at meeting minutes, bylaws. This one has CLE content. Each of the sections and communities will have a little different folder structure, but most of them should have the bylaws or governance. We're working on getting all of these libraries well organized so they're easier to use. You can also, from here, come up to this button to create an entry. If you have something that you want to upload that you feel would be beneficial for this community. We don't actively have community blogs, so this will always be zero at this time. If your community section has any events that are specific to the section, they will display here. In a few minutes, I'll show you where the, where the full event list is. And then from here, you can also see the members of this section who have opted to be included in this directory. You can search 
the folks in this directory by name, company name, or email address. Or you can scroll through and you have the option to send people a message or request to add them as a contact. You can also click and see their full profile and learn a little bit more about them. Of course, this all depends on how much they've populated in their own profile. All right. And so that is a walkthrough of what the community structure looks like. Because I'm logged in, I can go to the directory page. And the directory page is a more robust search vehicle for finding members than finding them just within your section. You get the same search options here, first name, last name, company name, email address. But you can also get a little more filtered by city, country, state, and the communities that they're involved in, or you can put in keywords to search through their bio and demographic. And then you click, let's see, maybe, let's try a small business administration. Let's see if we have any members who include that in their bio. You can fill out as many or as few of these fields as you like. It's taken a minute to think and get through all of our many members. How many members does the CBA have these days? Margaret, is it 17,000? A word. Closer to 16,000, we're about 15,700 right now. Thank you. If you go back mm -hmm. to the prior page, <clears throat> yeah. what does it help us to have country and state? Because most people are going to be in Colorado, USA. Is well, there a way to search by county? Because a lot of times that's what we need is an attorney in a different county. I will see if that is a feature that we could activate. I it's not an out-of-the-box feature of the platform, but I can certainly check. I know that we do actually have quite a few members you know, who are in Wyoming and other areas. So not all of them are in Colorado, but I agree the country is a little, uh, little bigger than what we need. But I will definitely check on the county vet and see what I can find out. Thank you. That's a great suggestion. Thank you. All right. Let's look at events. We have our upcoming events list. So you can see what's coming up in the future and you can click on a specific event to get more information and then to register. And our browse section lets you go to the discussion post page that has been a little buggy this week. So I apologize for showing that we're working on it. Library entries across the whole platform. And then again, let's look at that help section. First, we have Q&A. So if you have a very specific question you want to answer, you can come and see if the answer might be listed here. And these hyperlink down to the question and answer. And I'll show you that community user guide page. So this walks you through with different headers. So how to log in, update profile, update privacy, community notifications, Basically, everything we've gone through today, this walks you through in more detail. And I will say that in your browser, if you zoom in, sometimes that helps to see these pictures and images a little bigger when utilizing that. And then any questions after today's session, you can either email us at community at cobar.org or you're welcome to email me directly. And that kind of concludes the session for today. Well, thank you all so much for your time today. And thank you for the great questions and feedback. I will work to circle back with you all within a week. and get some answers around that search functionality and accessing Digest for non-member communities. And I hope that you all have a good rest of your day.